right, I'm here seven, with Glenn five, and he's the owner of this Black Beauty okay. here. They just sure. rolled into town after putting about 400-ish miles on today. Yeah. Tell me about your trip so far. It's been great. Yeah? Yeah, the car arrived in Loveland with 40 miles on it and uh, they drove it through uh, Eisenhower Tunnel up to Breckenridge and performed flawlessly. I didn't get to drive it the first miles, but uh, <laughs> anyway, I've been driving it since then, and I'm yeah. reluctant to give the keys away. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> my wife, uh, it's Roger calls it the 650 horsepower couch because my wife uh, <laughs> loves the seating. Yeah, she's uh, she's very happy with it as well as myself. So it sounds like you're experiencing the best of both worlds, right? So you have tons of power, super cool styling with the 70 Chevelle, but it's comfortable. It's easy to drive absolutely the wife loves it yeah that's it, the important that's thing. the like that's the most important thing if you can you know share a hobby that she enjoys exactly you're golden yeah i uh roger's calling this the kc car now yeah. kelly yeah. kelly's car yeah my wife yeah there you go <laughs> he used to he called it the black uh, the unicorn because i told him what i wanted and he says you'll never find a black Cheve 70 chevelle with yeah the, with stripes but Anyway, oh, but you found it. So is this factory paint? Uh, it's been repainted. Has it? Yeah. Like okay. Yeah. Not by me, but okay. It's uh, whoever the previous owner was. I just didn't want a perfect paint job. I have a, a, a 49 Merc that's perfect, and I couldn't drive it on something like this. Yeah. This is perfect. Yeah. So, so when you guys get back, what's your plan? Like the rest of summer and going into fall, what's your plan with the, the ride? Do you have any other road trips in mind? or? Uh, we don't have any other trips planned yet. It's going in the shop. He's going to put it on the rack and check things out and finish some things on it. And uh, the interior's got to be finished. And there's a few things here and there. We might paint it. We'll see. Yeah. yeah, I think it looks good. A little patina, but I mean, it's still yeah. nice and clean. Um, so a little bit, you know, a couple of questions with our chassis under it. How did it really feel? I know you say it felt like a couch, but responsive, oh, comfort. Yeah. I mean, compared to a modern luxury car, how did how did it feel? Well, it's it's very solid and very positive, but uh, you know, it it's you go over some bumps and it sticks. Yeah, it sticks to the road. So it's it's very fun to drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, so it sounds like you're enjoying life the way that it should be. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's what I like to do, and and uh, bring my wife along. She enjoys it. Yeah. So. Well, that's that's the best thing. So thank you for taking a minute to talk to us, and sure. and again we're sitting here with number one and number two of the Ironworks production Chevelles. So if this is something you guys are interested in, you need to hit up Ironworks and get one today because probably the coolest Chevelles out there right now. By far, by far, for yes, sure. They are.